Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Paid Stocks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And today, unfortunately, we did not get some great news. Uh, Charlie Munger, Daily Journal's 13F came out and uh, was not what I was expecting, unfortunately. It looks like uh, maybe his convictions are not so strong in Alibaba. Great news. Uh, if you like this kind of entertaining stock market content and apparently me and Vinny's portfolio crashing, uh, give us a like and subscribe and we'll get started here. <laughs> Stocks. All right, this is kind of the, the news that broke towards a later portion of the day. Uh, the 13F filing, which is a quarterly filing of all U.S. held securities, came out from the Daily Journal Corporation, of which Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's you know right hand man, is a control is the controller of. It looks like they don't really make a whole lot of, a lot of moves if you haven't been following them for too long. But uh, over the last about a year, they've been accumulating shares in Alibaba Group. Uh, in particular, the ADS, the American Depository Shares of Alibaba, of which Dylan and I both also own. Um, but this is the first time we've seen him uh, trim this position back. He had been kind of basically doubling down as each quarter succeeded, and now he cut back 50% of his position, unfortunately. It would be interesting to know like when this happened because three the prior quarter – he was actually using margin to buy even more. And like, yeah. I wonder if it hit 70 when it did and he got spooked and which I don't know, he's, he shouldn't get spooked. He's like 98 and been doing this for 70 years. So that's probably not likely. Uh, but I wonder yeah. if that has anything to do with it. That's a good thought. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe he got margin called. Maybe one of the greatest investors of all time got margin called, you know? It's kind of crazy, but it can happen, I guess. So this is actually what we're looking at last quarter. You know, he had doubled his position, adding 300,000 shares. Uh, in comparison to, you know, now th this this particular quarter, he he trimmed all that back and a little bit more. Uh, so basically, he got rid of the, the last doubling by removing this 50% of his position. A little bit over 300,000 shares, American Depository shares. So he still got $16 million in it, right? Yes. Yes. The other interesting thing that I wanted to point out here is, as Dylan mentioned, the margin debt. So as of uh, the last quarter, they had about $37 million in margin debt. Yeah, I know. They had levered up a little bit. They had actually closed out um, their long-held position in BYD, Chinese electric car manufacturer, uh, at a 15 bagger, basically. It made 15 times his money back on that investment, which is phenomenal, right? <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay. Got it. Yeah, well, we were we were all hoping that he was about to strike lightning again and roll that BYD 15x into a nice Alibaba 10x, maybe I don't know, but unfortunately, uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, you know, maybe his confidence is a little bit shooken now after he saw the seventy dollar uh, price range on on uh, Alibaba. I'm hoping because this sucks. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So this is the year to date chart of Alibaba. You know, flat, slightly negative trend. Nothing like super crazy. Uh, you know, other than this this massive move up here after it had dipped down to the seventies. You, you don't really know when in this time period he sold. Um, well, wisdom generates basically expected average cost basis um, and like you know end of end of quarter prices. So you can kind of use it as a range, but it's not really concrete stuff. But I ran some numbers based upon that. So you look at how much Charlie Munger may have lost in this position. Um, so according to Well Wisdom, he had about $155 per share cost basis. The quarter, um, first quarter of 2022, just closed at a share price of 108 for Alibaba. It's actually since come down a little bit further. Um, and his 300,000 shares sold during that time period. If you, you do that math there and looking at like $40 a share times 300,000 shares, it looks like Charlie Munger may have lost about $14 million on this trade. That's not accounting for any margin stuff, and that also does not tell me exactly when he sold it because we don't know that information. Yeah, because he, if he sold it at 70, he would have lost like $30 million. It would have been more, significantly more. That, that, yeah. That's without a doubt, I would, could say that. So, yeah, even, uh, even the greatest uh, investors of all time sometimes uh, take a little bit on the nose. The question is, like, why did he do it? Like, and does it matter for us? Um, you know, potentially could have converted some of it to Hong Kong shares. Don't really know. Unfortunately, you know, the American security laws don't require them to disclose if they're you know, holding a non-U.S. based um, investment. You know, maybe he's just deleveraging a little bit. You know, not unreasonable given the fact that we're seeing all this monetary uh, tightening with the Fed. Um, you know, now. Uh, in particular, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, now we've seen this Alibaba kind of like uh, being used as a little bit of a pawn between the SEC and the, the Chinese equivalent. 
tax loss harvesting, maybe like Monish Pabri. I don't know. It's not the right time uh, of year, but it's not the right time of year. We're past it. Yeah. Um, unless possibly, what if he, you know, it hit seventy on Baba, so he sold half and then bought like JD or something. Because then you that realize the a- loss and you get into another company that will likely do quite well. That is a thought for sure. Uh, back to the deal leveraging point too, by the way, you know, maybe he just eliminated that $37 million in, you know, kind of basically uh, margin on his account because, you know, like I said, it's kind of on uncertain times with this Fed tightening and mortgage rates going up significantly. Um, the last point here is kind of the scariest one to me, right? Maybe he realized that it was just wrong. And so are we. I refuse. I will burn down just like Fubo. I will watch the ship take fire. I might buy more, just to be spiteful. (laughs) Uh, Well, you know, this news came out, I want to say, just after hours today, and I did not see any real movement on it. So, like, I I don't know if this is kind of like a a nothing burger as far as, like, uh, actual stock price movement. I mean, still a considerable investment. Like I said, yeah, I had been kind of continuing to double down his convictions and even going into margin, which is, you know, a little bit of – Ballsy move. Let's just call it what it, what it is. Uh, so maybe he just realized that was probably not the best idea. But yeah, uh, it's no, who would use margin to to buy more of Baba? Like who would do that? Not me. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, everybody stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay f- calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, calm down. That's me. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you resemble Michael Scott, actually. Huh? <laughs> you kind of resemble Michael Scott. I can see it. I'll take it. I mean, no, God, much, please, this, no, this is in my no, right now. So great. <laughs> no, oh, God. All right, guys, we we want to hear your thoughts on this one. You know, does this change your kind of investment thesis in all of you? Decrease your position size as well. I don't know. For me personally, still staying put for right now. We'll see. I have my my theory on what's going on as far as like uh, long term prospects for Alibaba, and I haven't seen anything that you know outside of what I expected yet. So I just. Don't want the price to hit. What's that, Tyler's? One of our oh, fifty. Uh, yeah, one of our uh, our, our dudes who messages a lot. He's waiting for a price target of fifty, and at first it's like never. Then it hits seventy. It's like this son of a. He's gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I'm, I might have to buy some. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right guys. guys. See you get later. to the next one.